I'm Melissa Casal. I'm the digital marketing specialist here at MAM, and today I'm going to show you some of my favorite works in our collection. She's a fiber artist and she's really concerned with um, waste and uh, textiles in landfills and things like that. So a lot of her art centers around um, reusability and recycling old materials to create something new. And the reason I love this work is because, is because there's always something new to find in it. There's a hidden ma'am in there, there are Star Wars sheets, there's Coca-Cola and Target labels. So it's really fun to just kind of look and see what you can uncover. I, I like coming in here because a lot of times this space is empty or there's not a lot of people, so it's very quiet from our other gallery spaces. So I like to come and stand here and look and see what else and other secrets I can find. Federico Hervé and he makes a lot of these different animal sculptures and what's cool about them is he uses a lot of found and unconventional material so they're not made of clay or marble or anything he'll use pencils or other sharp objects and this one in particular is made of bullet shells and bullet casings and I just I like it when artists use unconventional material to make art. It's almost like you're reclaiming the object. So these, in, in this instance, these, he talks about how these objects are, you know, have a lot of negative connotations. They're objects of death and destruction. And he collects them and repurposes them to make this beautifully intricate sculpture of a very beautiful and very powerful animal. Our final work today is called Borrowed Animals. It's by an artist called Jim Dine. And this piece is very special to me because I actually studied Jim Dine while I was in grad school. I went for my master's in art history and I wrote a lot of papers on Jim Dine. So when I found out on my first day that we had a Jim Dine in our collection, it felt very almost serendipitous for me to be working here now. So Jim Dine is an artist who really rose to fame in the 1960s, particularly in New York art scene, where we had a lot of pop artists coming to fame at the same time. So it was a time when artists were really questioning what is art and what can make good art. for joining me on this special tour of some of the works in Man's permanent collection. And I can't wait to see you here soon.